Hey guys, this is Al uh, again with a quick tutorial. This time we're talking about Illustrator. So I've been working on an animation that requires this scene. And you can see um, that I'm working on this laptop. So I have the framework built out for the laptop and I have the keyboard area assigned. But I tried to put in the keyboard in a couple of different ways. Um, but it being 3D, uh, and just the planar view right here, it makes it kind of difficult with, you know, the way the keys are. They're not all even and um, the spacing and the, the contours of the keys. So what I decided to do was take this image and what I did was I rebuilt a keyboard a flat view from the top down based on this image. It took a little while to create all of the different little icons and things like that. So now I'm ready to put it into the other image. So I'm going to just copy this. And in here, this layer has this area assigned as where the keyboard's going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and paste. And I'll group that object so that it all goes in here. Now with envelope distort, it's important that the top object is at the top. So I'm going to make sure that that keyboard area assignment is at the top. And then using these little hamburgers, I'm just going to go ahead and select both layers. And then I'm going to go to the object menu down to envelope distort. And you can see we have a couple of different options, but the option that I want is make with top object. And that'll snap the keyboard into place. And looks pretty realistic. Um, there's a couple of things that happen to the icons along the way, but those are things that I can clean up. And on the whole, this is pretty cool effect and all done with just a couple of shapes, a simple shape here. And the hard part was just building the keyboard. That was the long part. The other thing about this was I was able to use a graphic style and graphic styles come in handy because you can replicate them. You can use them more than once. So I created this graphic style for other keys to give it a little bit of a bevel shape. And you can see the edges and a little bit of a gradient um, to give it kind of like a raised appearance. So that was just a quick tutorial um, on Illustrator and using Envelope Distort. Thanks and keep watching.